Hello and welcome to Open Mysteries. I figured we'd go ahead and take a look at from the vault product and just look at boxes. No box opening video just because the beauty of this is we can just open it up like this and take a look. This is Laura. They've got these uh, cards inside there, of course. So we have all those cards in there. It's fantasticness. But this Laura is only 40 bucks. Craziness, right? So I saw a price for it. Yeah, it was actually sold for 40 bucks on June 29th. Someone bought one for $40, June 29th. And there you go, the lore. Is it worth it to actually buy these for 40 bucks and crack them open? Is this way undervalued? I don't know, I think so. I think it's kind of way undervalued here because you get all that, you get the dark depths, you get the sword, um, the, uh, the jitty, jetty. I mean, it's the jetty is hard to use. I mean, you have to actually hit with the creature first off. It has to deal combat damage. Then you can put a charge counter on it. But once you put the charge counter on it, you're good, right? Because whenever, if even if it dies, it's going to get that charge counter. And so then you'll have that versatile functions that you can do, you know. So and it's only a clip of two. So it's actually a pretty powerful uh, sword. So there you go. It's. It's interesting. I like I like the from the vault because they display well. You just prop it up like this, you know, put it on your bookshelf and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of fun. But from the vault, right? So the next one from the vault here is price-wise. We're going up in price. So here is Annihilation. Craziness, craziness. We have our Wrath of God, one of my all-time favorites. We got a Rolling Earthquake. And then, uh, what deaths? I don't know what this one is. Let's just go to the back. Alright, it's right over here. Uh, Living Death. Alright, so those are the big pop cards, but there's your contents of the box with the premium foil cards. So, kind of cool, right? It's because you got the, all the individual ones here. So, this one actually, see, Annihilation sold at $72 in auction and $84.99 with a purchase on uh, July 17th, so not too far along ago. So that's pretty cool, right? Annihilation, that's today. So I guess that got, was that today? Yeah, that's today. So that just bought, bought just a few minutes ago. <laughs> uh, okay, so there you go. Somebody bought just one of these for a few minutes ago. Not this one, not this one, this one's. This one's mine, but I was doing the research this morning and so I could do the, the videos. All right, now next up we have angels and everybody loves angels. Uh, this is not $90 apparently box. We got the uh, uh, VC Angel of Hope, right? But that might have come down just because of the reprints and that kind of stuff. We got a current Angel of Wrath. Then we got the Angel Shield of Emeria, I'm assuming. I don't know. Don't know really the name of that card personally, but there you are. There's the contents of the box. I think that was a little bit, well, it's got Platinum Angel too in there. So that's good. All right. Kind of cool to just look at them, you know? They do make great display pieces. It's always good to talk about the prices too. All right, we got our From the Vault Transform. Da -da -da -da. We got Liliana here, Defiant Necromancer. You know, the Secrets, Delver. And then, uh, I don't know this one. Too much. Hunt Master of the Fells. All right. And let's see, this one. Transform went for $128, July 7th. And there's the cards in the back. There we go. So yeah, this one's probably maybe a little bit overpaid for. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh wait, was I right with the Transform 128? Yeah, Transform 128. That's what I wrote, July 7th. Alright, now we have Dragons here. Dragons sold for 103 on June 30th. And we just have our uh, Thunder Dragon. 
and Hellkite Overlord and a two headed dragon, I believe, or something like that. Oh, we'll see. There's the thunder. Let's see. What did I just read it wrong? I don't know. Something hit a dragon. It's not there on the box, I think. Not it right there. Three-headed dragon or something. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> but there you go. I like the artwork, though. The artwork is cool. Dun, dun, dun. But what do you guys think of the uh, from the vault content? A uh, product. Not content. So 103 on June 30th. Was that a good deal or a bad deal? I don't know. And then we have 20. There we go, from the vault 20. So this was 100 bucks, and it's got Jace. Everybody knows Jace. So that's pretty cool, you know. All right. Him to Turok. Yeah, if it would as a flow with the original art, one of the original arts, I guess I should say. That would have been kind of cool. We got the Theron Dynamo right there. So I think this is a good purchase. Right? So if you can get it for that price, that's pretty cool. Again, still a great display piece. Nothing like getting a Jace the Mind Sculptor and being guaranteed to get it. Then we have uh, Realms for $150. Dun, dun, dun. Yay, Realms! Maze of Ith, or the Urborg Tomb of Yagmoth. That's the Dryad, no Druid. But uh, yeah, I mean, this one is a uh, yeah 150 realms. Okay. Here's the contents of that box as well. You know. I don't know, this one seems a little bit light due to the... I mean, I think this should be worth a little less than 150 I'm not sure. But that's just my personal opinion, because you know they're going to change print Maze of Ith over and over again. So I don't think this one should be worth that much. Just because of the reprint ability of the Maze of Ith card itself but it still displays really well like that I think that's kind of fantastic it looks itself all right we're getting to pricier ones this apparently is two hundred and fifty six dollars and it has uh, the Lunark and Mazera the dressful dreadful But you can recognize most of these in the back. Got your Olmug, your Cheeky. I mean, this one's actually a really decent box. You know? I think this might be a little bit undervalued. It's pretty nice. A lot of them have been reprinted, of course, but still. You know, I like the fact that it's got the groovy artwork there. So that picture really just displays well. I know this isn't a pack opening video, but I figured it would just be fun. All right, Exiled. I actually saw this sell for $350 June 5th. There's a Berserk right there on the top. I mean, nice foil Berserk. You got your Necropotence right there. Balance. I mean, this is like something that uh, everybody in the old school stuff would want, you know? F 
freaking awesome, right? We got your Sensei Divining Top, Mystical Tutor. Really good box right here. Oh uh, yeah, and there's channel. This is freaking awesome. Oh, this one, this one is the one I like a lot. Do the familiarity and that kind of stuff. It's got a lotus petal in there. There you go, exiled. <laughs> one last time. It's cool looking too. I like it. Last but the greatest, of course, is from the Vault Relics. It was hanging around there around the two grand mark, but I've seen it sell for 1500 well, 1499 on June 16th. Here you go with the Mox Opal. Mo I'm sorry. <laughs> Mox Diamond. Of course, I had to say it on this one. Here we go. We got the Sword of Body and Mind. And we have... Uh, Master Core. And then it always displays fantastically. I love how they did that. Right? They did that one. They did this box really well. This is like the best box. Not literally talking about the box, not the cards. Literally the best box for display purposes. You know? So you wouldn't want it to throw out the box. You don't even really want to open this. I know people have and have graded this and sells for quite a bit. But just having the box on a display piece, it's just, it's gorgeous, right? Here's what's inside. You know, you got your soul ring, which is currently probably valued at nothing. <laughs> you got an ether vial here. I mean, it's got some good stuff in this box, right? The fact that they keep reprinting soul ring. But still, to me, this is the best of the boxes, not due to the price, but due to the fact of this artwork right here. They did a fantastic job. It's the one that they actually did, you know, they said, you know what, let's do some groovy art, right? I mean, this is the best one, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Which one has the best artwork? Not based on price, but the best artwork on the box. But yeah, 1,500, so that's pretty good. In my opinion, that's pretty good. All right, I figured this was a good video to make. Uh, hope you liked it. Hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment, and I'll talk to you again on the next one.